Hi, my name is Lori, and this is my daily charge. In the midst of the coronavirus, many of us have found ourselves at the mercy of Satan's schemes. Satan will do anything to throw obstacles in our way to distract us from our purpose. And I know for me, one of the big challenges has been my health. I've just really struggled um, over the last few weeks with extreme fatigue, um, some mental confusion. It's made it very, very difficult for me to do my job. And because of that, um, I'm very tempted to be anxious because I have a lot of work that I need to get done. And because of how I've been feeling, I haven't been able to get it done. But you know, God makes it very clear that these things are all a part of Satan's schemes, but he has a plan. In 2 Corinthians 4, in verses 17 through 18, it reads, But we have this treasure in jars of clay to show that this all-surpassing power is from God and not from us. We are hard-pressed on every side, but not crushed, perplexed, but not in despair, persecuted, but not abandoned, struck down, but not destroyed. We always carry around in our body the death of Jesus, so that the life of Jesus may also be revealed in our body. For we who are alive are always being given over to death for Jesus' sake, so that his life may also be revealed in our mortal body. So then, death is at work in us, but life is at work in you. Therefore, we do not lose heart, though outwardly we are wasting away, yet inwardly we are being renewed day by day. For our light and momentary troubles are achieving for us an eternal glory that far outweighs them all. So we fix our eyes not on what is seen, but on what is unseen, since what is seen is temporary, but what is unseen is eternal. I think about this passage, and it helps me to keep in mind that the things that we're all going through right now are light and momentary troubles in the scheme of God's overall plan for our lives. And the important thing for me, the important thing for you, is to keep our eyes focused on our real purpose, our real mission at this time. There are so many people who are hurting, who are open, who need God's word. And this is just the best time to reach out and to share our faith, to share our struggles, to share what we're going through, but to help people understand the power that exists within God and in Christ to help us overcome all of these things. That there's no reason to be anxious. As it says in Philippians 4, do not be anxious about anything, but in every situation, by prayer and petition, with thanksgiving, present your request to God, and the peace of God, which transcends all understanding, will guard your hearts and your minds in Christ Jesus. So as we wake up every day and we're quarantined or staying at home to be safe, let's wake up every day with Jesus beside us, with our mission clearly before us, without anxious hearts, despite whatever challenges we may be facing financially, physically, um, lack of work, too much work in my case, know that God has a plan, that God is with us, and the most important thing is for us to keep our focus on Jesus and to share that light that shines within us with those around. God bless you and may God have all the glory.